Hello everyone, here we are again in my garage. It is really hot this time again um, with the GM 3500 IAED. And I just wanna give you a quick tip, okay? During the hurricane, I lost power here at my house and I was fine. I was using the 9,000 watt generator connected to my house, but my neighbor didn't have any generator. So I offered him this little guy here that I bought for my RV and uh, he was going to connect it to his um, refrigerator. The problem was when he connected his refrigerator here, he connected to this outlet right here that is a GFCI generator. So what it means is have a circuit integrated, it's protected. And apparently it didn't like the fluctuation in current from the uh, refrigerator and keep tripping and tripping and tripping. I keep resetting, 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 and it keep tripping. So I felt really bad because I tried to help him giving him a generator and it wasn't working, but it wasn't the generator. It's just that for some reason, the outlets um, GFCI protected don't like fluctuation in current. I didn't know that. So the solution is this little guy right here. This is a connector that is a L5-30P, 30 amp, to a regular 110, 120 outlet, um, 15 or 20 amp. And what you're gonna do is, you connect it here, directly to the 30 amp um, connector right here, and then you connect the refrigerator here. Can you use these ones here? Yes, you can. You connect a fan, you connect a radio, you can connect a TV, you can connect anything else that the current don't fluctuate like a refrigerator. For example, an air conditioner also has a compressor. I mean, if you're gonna connect a, a small air conditioner here, it's gonna trip because the, the current fluctuate. Um, for example, start with a high amp and then drop the amp. That's a fluctuation in the current. Now, but if you connect it here, you will not have that problem. Why? Because this outlet here don't have any GFCI um, protection, you know? So I just wanna let you know that. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to this connector just in case you wanna be prepared and don't, don't go through the same thing that I, that I went through and learn from my mistake. I didn't know. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. And again, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and see you in the next video. Bye.